Hello and welcome back to the second part of Inara 100's tutorial. Um, I know it took me a lot of time to upload this second part of the tutorial because I didn't have enough time to record it, but um, now it's here and I hope it uh, will be good for you. So, in the last part we learned how to add drivers to the wheels so they can move automatically uh, without animating, th animating them, rotating uh, uh, manually. And in this part, we're, you're going to learn how to add a very simple basic rig to the car, um, yet very helpful and nice. To begin with, let's reparent the wheels to another object to be our main controller which is not the car which now the ma which is now the main controller as you can see so select the four wheels hit alt p and select clear parent now that we move the car they don't move with it but they still move uh, ro uh, rotate according to the movement of the car because of the drivers. Now let's add an empty and this will be our main controller. So select the car and the wheels, the empty last and parent them by hitting control P to the empty. Now our empty is our main controller. The drivers are not working now because we have to make them um, re uh, turn according to the movement of the empty instead of the car. So select them, go back to our drivers panel in the graph editor and select in the object, the controller object, our empty which is called probably empty. empty empty again and let's see if it works yes works perfect just like the car now we can move the car but the wheels won't turn according to it and won't um, move with it. Exactly what we want in order to begin with uh, our rig. So close the graph editor, we don't need it no more. Um, now we want to limit the location and rotation of the car, so it won't be able to move this far, rotate this far. In order to do that we will use constraints, which is these um, chains in the properties panel. Select the car and add a constraint called um, limit location. Now what this constraint does, it limits the ability of the car to move in any distance to a, a specific distance which you set right here in these panels. Good. Um, let's limit the location on the y-axis, like that. We want the car to move um, until it touches the wheels, this axis. And if you look down here, you can see it's about um, 0.14. So we'll lock the both y axis is both minimum and maximum and insert 1.4 in both oops this one has to be minus minus 
Nope. This. Okay, this way. Now you can see if we move it on the Y axis, it limits the location until it touches the wheels. Now let's do the same on the Z axis. In this case, we want it to touch the wheel and on the maximum not to get too far away from the wheels. So let's see if we move it on the Z axis. It takes minus 0.18 on the minimum. Minus is the minimum, of course. Yes. Now on the maximum, we don't want it to move this far from the wheels. So let's say about 0.5 half blender unit. Good. Now if we move it freely, we can see it is limited. I don't know if you want if you would want to um to move it on the x axis but um, you can do it by yourselves if you wish. Now let's limit the um, rotation of the, w the, the car. So we'll add a new constraint named limit rotation. Um, let's see. If we rotate it on the x-axis, like so, it has to be limited to about minus 3.8 and the minimum and and about 3.14 which is pi Let's see, limit x, minimum, minus 3.8, maximum 3.14. Good. You see now that it's limited until it touches the wheels on both sides. Um, now let's limit the y-axis. As you can see, gets into the wheels as well. So we'll limit it about um, 6.5 on the maximum and I guess that on the minimum it will be the same. Oops. X, Y. Good. And on this end, we don't want it to turn at all. I think. Yeah. So keep it on zero on both minimum and maximum. Good. Now we limited the location and the ro and the rotation of the car itself. And the last thing we have to do is to set the owner space to local space so whatever the uh, the location or the rotation of the car will be according to um, the, the main controller which is the empty it will limit the rotation and location um, correctly okay so the last thing we have to do in order to um, finish our rig, let's add a floor so the car will have something to stand on. And if, if you can see, we can move the car also into the floor.
and we don't want that because in reality it doesn't happen I think <laughs> and in order to limit the um, location of the empty so it won't touch the floor we can so it won't um, get into the floor excuse me we can use a special constraint called floor the target in this case is our floor which is called in my case plane point zero zero two plane point zero zero okay and if we move the empty now you can see it can't um get underneath the 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 plane but our car is not uh, starting in its middle so we have to set an offset the offset will be the distance from the pivot in here to the floor um, yes this this distance is our offset in order to see what the offsets um, distance will simply move the empty on the z-axis until it touches the floor and check out what's the distance right down here which in my case is minus two point uh, one yes minus two point one Oops, it has to be positive. Now you can see it flies a bit above the floor, so... Yeah, that should be good. And... Good. Now, it can't get under the floor thanks to our um, floor constraint. So this is the end of our tutorial and this is the very simple and basic rig I made for my car. I hope you learned a few things about constraints and how they work and of course about the drivers for the wheels and that you will be able to make your own next time you have a car model. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you next time.